Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm doing a quick video on the use of AI in 3D printing. Now, I'm actually going to take this video to a little bit different direction in something I'm trying that you may be interested in. Google has a product called Notebook LM, which basically it's a standalone system that it uses Gemini 1.5 Pro as the back end, but you load in your own documents as the basis for the AI. And what I've done is I've taken all my Orca Slicer tutorials, as well as links to the Orca Slicer GitHub repository wiki, and I've created my own notebook. And in this notebook, I can then ask questions. So I have right now 13 sources loaded in. I can go up here and load in files from Drive, a PDF, text file, copy text, and websites. I use text files for the transcripts of my videos. And then I've used the website link to link in the homepage for the GitHub repository as well as the wiki. Now, what I can then do is ask questions of this model using the data I've loaded in. Now, supposedly this data isn't going to Google, which I'm not so sure about, but let's, let's go ahead and try this. So I've done a tutorial recently about the pressure advanced testing. So let's ask this to show us what are the differences between the various PA tests. So I'm just going to run this and let's see what answer we get. Now, as you can see, it offers, WorkSlice offers three different tests, a line, pattern, and tower. You can see here that if I click on these, this is actually showing the very, where the sources are and what I've used. So this source, this number one, is actually from the transcripts that I used, the transcripts from one of my videos. So let's try number two. Again, number two is actually from, it looks like, and it's giving us the, it's actual, the information from the GitHub repository. So again, this stuff is pretty cool. It gives us the ability to query our own data and basically create the basis for our own chat. Now, right now, I can't share out this notebook with everyone. Um, just as a public link, you need to have a Notebook LM account and you need to email me if you want me to share it with you. Right now, I'm more than happy to share. I'm sort of fascinated with the directions that I can take this stuff to and how I can basically build my own chatbot to talk about the subjects I'm interested in. One of the next ones I'm testing is I've put together a little Voron build guide for myself, and this is based on all the various links I'm using to build, do my Voron build. And I'm hoping that this will help me answer some questions. Instead of searching Google, I'm going to actually try to search just this notebook. And I can also add text and add other documents to it and notes as I put stuff together. But again, just something sort of interesting to try and a different way of pulling information together. Now, if you're interested in this, I'm more than happy to share this notebook with you. Just shoot me an email and my email will be on screen. If you have any other ideas or comments or questions, feel free to let me know. Right now, I'm just using the links to the GitHub repository or my own transcripts. Now, eventually I might load in some other data, but I'm trying to basically stick with public sources that I can link to and just use this to sort of build my own notebooks and gather my own information for my research. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. 
if you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.